Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here in Miami, Florida. We are. We're going to get our morning started off right, baby. Yes, we are here at Versailles, which is, I guess, one of the most popular mm -hmm. places to get Cuban coffee, mm -hmm. some desserts, mm -hmm. pastries, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yep, so we're going to try it out. Yes. And uh, what else we have planned? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We don't know what we have planned yet. Well, this happens to be in like in the heart of uh, Little Havana. Yes. So we're gonna go walk around. I know that. Huh, yeah. Baby? We're gonna have a Little Havana tour today. We are. And starting out, it's Cuban coffee. Yes. We're gonna load up on coffee this morning. So we got the Cafe Cubana, Cubano, which is a, the uh, this regular Cuban espresso. Hot. Oh, but it's sweet though. What they do is they add sugar. Then they, after they add sugar, then they put the espresso in. So it has a very sweet taste to it. A little bit on the bitter side, but I think because of the sweetness, it takes away from that little bit of the bitter side. This is gonna have us wired for the full day. My turn. Oh yeah. Smooth, huh? Yeah, smooth, but you can tell it's uh it's highly it. caffeinated. Mm -hmm. It is. This is got a cortadito, right? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. And it is espresso with a shot of milk. So what did you say? It was 70 mm, 70 percent espresso? No, I think it was more than that. It's like 80 percent espresso with a shot of milk just like the espresso very good very smooth tasting perfect amount of sweetness for me it was it too sweet for you baby uh, the other was, one it was okay um so perfect amount of sweetness for me because you know i'm a little bit on the sweeter side what they did is they filled about this much up of espresso and then they just like topped it off with some steamed warm milk mm, it's very smooth this is really excellent this is the only size you can get for the espresso, that's the only size, and this is the only size you can get for this one. We also got the Cafe Con Leche, which is like the regular Cuban coffee, topped with a little bit of milk, steamed milk. Try this out. This also comes sweetened, but not as sweet as the espresso shot. Yeah, so if you don't like sweetened coffee, I don't know if you could tell I'm not to put any sugar inside. You can. You can? Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the outcome is sweet. Yeah, this is really good. I think between these three, we're, we are set for, for caffeine for a tour. Maybe we'll have to come back though for a, a late night shot. But, but right now, this is going to do the job. We got two different kind of pastries. The guava pastry and the croquette. One. Yes, so here they are inside the bag. I'm gonna try out the, uh, the guava one first. Oh wow. Surprisingly, it's nice and warm. You can see how nice and buttery and flaky this top of this guava pastry is. Wow, that looks really good. I know they have two different kinds here. They have like the regular plain guava and one with cheese. But we got the just the plain one, right? So enough talk, let's go ahead and bite into this. Flaky. Very flaky. That guava is really nice. It's like a, almost like a guava jam. Very thin layer of it, so it's not overpowering at all. And the uh, the pastry itself, you can just see how many layers it has. It's delicious. This and our Cuban cup of coffee. That's it. This is going to be a real good start because we have a lot more food to eat. This pastry is super flaky. You can feel it right, or feel it, feel it right here. You can see it crisp right there. That's how flaky it is. There's a little, like a light, like spread on it, which is just like a, I thought it was maybe like a little butter or egg wash, but no, it's a little bit sticky. So you know, it's going to be sweet. Mm. 
super flaky. Great guava taste. You know, the like guava jams like the, like you get in the little jar when you find guava jam. You put it in an excellent made pastry and you warm it up. That's what it tastes like. It has a bit sweet, not extremely sweet like a strawberry jam. Um, that's all it needs. It doesn't need any more. I can only imagine this with cream cheese. You know, it's going to be excellent. Nice and creamy. You can have cream cheese, but this way is just excellent. Mm -hmm. This is the croquetta. They had different kinds. We opted for the chicken. So it kind of looks like a deep fried, uh, I guess a pastry. Kind of reminds me of what we had something similar in Amsterdam out of a machine. But right, here we go. Okay. Tastes like a lot of mashed potato. A little bit of chicken flavor, but it's mostly creamy potato with just a hint of, of chicken, like I mentioned. But these are great little savory snacks. Really kind of should have ate this first and then had the guava, but it's okay though. Either way, it's really good. These are great little snacks. So, our next stop. Is supposed to be the best Cuban sandwich here yeah. in Miami. Yeah, and it's kind of hard for us to judge, but we'll try because the only thing we've really had is Porto's. So yeah. <laughs> we'll try to judge. Yeah, so we are no Cuban sandwich experts by any means. No, but we know it's good though. Sure, yeah. sure. So it's about a mile and a half away from uh, Versailles. Uh huh, but we're, it's one straight walk, so we're gonna go walk down the street and we'll see what else we can see. Yeah, everything seems to be on Main 8th Street yeah. over here. So, <laughs> where I think they call it uh, Calle Ocho. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, we'll so. do a little sightseeing, nice leisurely day. Uh -huh. it's in, not raining. Nope, in Little Havana, is, I believe everything is on 8th Street. Yes. Cool in Little Havana along the 8th Street is a bunch of roosters. Yeah. all over the place. They're everywhere. Decorated different ways. After a long walk, we finally made it. Mm -hmm. San to, Gooch. To San Gooch, touted as the best Cuban sandwich here in Little Havana. Again, we are no experts on Cuban sandwiches since the only one we had is Porto's. That's right. But we did our research. This one seems like they really pull out all the stops on our great Cuban sandwich. So I can't wait to try it, baby. Yeah, there's a little bit of a line, so we're going to jump in it right now. Toasted. I know what they do is they spread lard, right, baby? Yes. They have they spread lard while it's cooking. You can see all those yummy meats and cheeses in there. I'm gonna first try it without the sauce. Mmm, nice, crunchy. You can taste all that yummy goodness in there. There's a pickle in there. There's a the meat. There's a the cheese. You can see. This is a very good sandwich. Better than Porto's. What? You just went there, babe. Mm -hmm. My turn to try out this Cubano. I know it's a little bit loud in here, so we'll, we'll, we'll just do our best here. So we chose this place because of its authenticity, plus they brine their pork over here along with the lard. That's it. Wow. Those pickles add the perfect crunch. They put a bunch of pickles in here. And that pork, it's so flavorful. This has a perfect amount of crunch and that cheese. You're right, it is better than Porto's.
try this one out. Do a little bit. Now the sandwich doesn't really need anything. It has wonderful flavors by itself, but we just gotta try it. Mm. And it enhances the flavor. It has, gives it that little bit of like lime kick that goes really well with the sandwich, but it doesn't need anything. It's really good. Sanguch Cubano. Wow. Nothing like that was amazing. Porto's. Well, well, well we, we Porto's have to, is good. It is, it is. Yeah, I mean, if you're in, here in Southern California, those potato balls and yeah. you know, cheese yeah. uh, mm -hmm. danishes, excellent. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. Be, because we haven't tried any other Cubano sandwich other than uh, Porto's, for us, this is much better, much better. But again, uh, Porto's has a really good Cubano sandwich, but mm -hmm. this one is like amazing. I know he did his research on this one, and this one brines its brines its meat for so long yeah right and we're just watching them we're sat at the bar and we just were watching them make it and every single sandwich looked amazing but we had to try the cubano yeah they had some kind of a roasted pork sandwich yeah. that looked really good too yeah. but uh, yeah. we have a, we're on a food eating tour so we can't we have to share everything i know yeah. so the, we're on to the next place yeah. and oh, uh oh, go ahead baby go ahead. oh sorry for the loud music and everything yeah. like that we are looking into microphones um, so you can actually hear us, but for right now, yeah. we want you to get the ambiance of what's going on. <laughs> so we, even though we're yelling at the camera, hopefully you'll be able to hear us. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely a lot of action going on it in the is. restaurant. It is. Okay, mm -hmm. on to the next place. Made it to our next stop. Yep, just a short walk from uh, the Cubano place that we were just at. Yes. So there is El Rey de las Fritas, which yes. is right behind us. They're known for their, was it burger? Right Cuban there? burger. Cuban Have you burger. ever had a Cuban burger? No, I haven't. Been. I never had a Cuban burger either. I'm looking forward to it. Let's eat. Yep. We just sat down. Here's a menu, four locations. We're at the Little Havana. We got the sipas de pollo. It looks really good. Big pieces of potato, carrot. Look at that. They shred the chicken in here. Let's try this out. Hot. Hot, <laughs> hot. We're going to wake that close down a bit. And they gave us some um, buttered bread. And it's warm, too. Still really hot. Gonna let it cool down a bit. What do we get? This is the Fritas Original. This is the original patty. It's very well seasoned. It's their secret seasoning of their hamburger. I, mean, I don't know, I shouldn't even call it a hamburger. So this is what it looks like. It comes with raw onions and fried potatoes on top. Mm. Very well seasoned. That crunch of the fried potatoes, the raw onions, even the bun has that crunch to it. It is not dry at all. Heavily seasoned, very has a spice to it, and almost tastes tastes like a Lowry seasoning, but all mixed up together. This is a good sandwich. Easy to eat. It's not very big at all. But this will get us full from all the food we've been eating. This is really good. So they were kind enough to split it in half for us. This is my half. We got plenty of those crispy fries on the side. Wow, this is big. Look at that. Here we go. This has a very unique flavor to it. I know it looks like it's real heavily spiced on the ground beef, but it's not. It just has a, kind of hard to describe, but it is a lot of spices, but it's not spicy. And that potatoes, those little fried potatoes, it has a extreme crunch. Even the bread is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, crispy. If you want more crunch on the second bite, just get your leftover 
little fried potatoes that kind of spill over and there you go. It's ready for another second crunch. It's a great Cuban hamburger. First time I tried it, I'm glad we stopped by over here. Now it's cooled down a lot, which is good. So now we can eat it. You can see how rich that broth looks. It's still a little hot, but definitely eatable. This broth is super rich, very good chicken flavor. Mm, not like a Campbell's chicken noodle soup at all. It's very fresh tasting, very rich in that broth. This is gonna go perfectly with our sandwich. And when we run out of bread, we can eat our bread too. Try some of the chicken, okay? Yep. That's there the start of the dish. Yep. The chicken is really used to be in this soup, but it, because I'm saying that only because it's not seasoned at all, but because the broth is so rich and tasty, it doesn't need to be. This is a really good chicken noodle soup. And you know I'm a soup person. This is a good one. What you think of El Rey, That's babe? An excellent place. So good. That patty was so well seasoned. I loved it. If you didn't need any condiments on it, um, no hot sauce, no, no, dare I say, ketchup, nothing. No, no ketchup at all. Anything on it. In fact, it. I didn't see ketchup on anyone's table. <laughs> no, no. They had hot sauce, but it didn't need anything. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people were watching and people were ordering, and a lot of people were ordering the uh, sopa de res, but we didn't get it. We got the chicken noodle soup. And they're yeah, ordering... the, the rest is the beef, the beef soup. Yeah, and they're ordering their uh, their original with an egg, which we yeah. didn't want any any egg. We just want to taste the the fullness yeah. of the patty. Yeah. So but it, it's yeah, good. but it seemed like a lot of the locals are they're definitely getting the soup. Yes. So if you come here, definitely try that out. We really like the chicken. Yeah. I'm curious about the beef. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so the chicken was very flavorful. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked salty because it was so yellow in yeah, flavor. Yeah, it but wasn't. It was not. No. It was perfect match with our sandwich. Bit. Yeah, in fact, when I first saw it, I think, oh, I hope it doesn't taste like Lipton chicken yeah. noodle soup, but nothing. it's homemade broth. It's homemade, yeah. yeah. So I would, I'm a soup person. I definitely recommend the chicken noodle, only because we didn't try the beef one, right. but next time we have to try the beef one. Right, so now we're gonna walk a little bit further down this main 8th Street mm -hmm. here uh, for some ice cream. Yeah, we, we gotta burn off some of this food. It's we are. warm enough and luckily we're sharing, but we gotta definitely burn off some of this food. Let's go. Famous nightclub here is Ball and Chain. They're closed until further notice, unfortunately, but this is supposed to be a world famous nightclub. Made it. Gourmet ice cream from Azucar. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Yeah, it happens to be right next door to that Ball and Chain. It is, and, and right next door to the Little Havana cigar shop. Yes, and right mm -hmm. across the street is the famous is Domino, Domino Park. Park. Yeah, yeah. let's get some ice cream. So I got their number one bestseller. I forgot what it was called, but it's like a guava ice cream. It has chunks of guava, as you can see. Look at that. And some kind of cookie inside as well. Very unique with that cookie dough and pizza guava inside. The ice cream itself is almost like a, like a vanilla type of flavor to it. But it's the toppings and the cookie that give this ice cream its, its unique flavor. Very interesting, it's really good. Especially on this hot Miami day. I got the, uh, what's I got? The uh, Cuban coffee. Yeah, the Cuban coffee one. Cafe de leche, that's what it is. Can't remember that for some reason. Here we go. Mm. Very good strong coffee flavor. With yummy milk it's a uh, perfect sweetness oh my god these ice cream is fast they're like majorly melting good stuff these are the ones that are highly recommended inside 
And so we had to get the ones that were highly recommended. We got them, babe. Yep. That ice cream was very good. Ah, uh, the breeze. Yeah. Even though you guys are hearing a lot of wind noise, it's helping us out tremendously. Yes, it is. Uh, right next door to the ice cream shop, is right behind us, is a little Havana cigar shop. Mm -hmm. oh, of course, we're not smokers, but yeah. uh, when in Rome, we're going to check it out. Yeah, we got to. So we made it to Domino Park, which is right across the street from where we just were. Yeah. This is where all the locals come and play dominoes. Mm -hmm. This would be so cool. Yeah. So we're not sure if just regular people could come here and just join in on the game. There seem to be a lot of locals. Yes. It might be might be a club, maybe. Yes, yes. And but what I see, a lot of people are like, once a game is over, people switch out. But I don't know how to play, so I'm just gonna be spectating. We are. Yeah. <laughs> It's mojito time. Yep, we have to. This is yes. called Havana Bar. Yes, it is. Cheers, yeah. babe. They're known for their mojitos. Oh, very refreshing. Wow. Really good. It's so minty. It is. That's going to wrap up things from Little Havana. That was a lot of fun. It was. So we're going to catch her right here back to our hotel, chill a little bit, yep. and get ready for dinner. Yep. So we got seated at an outdoor patio. Check it out. It looks real beautiful out there. Overlooking, uh, I don't know what river that Miami. is. Miami. Miami River. What a view. Yeah, we just ordered our entrees. I got the lobster and fried shrimp and a cup of grouper chowder. See how that is. I got Garcia's grouper soup. You can see giant pieces of grouper in here. Look at that. And a little bit of rice. Really good color. Great. Great fish flavor. Tastes super fresh. The rice is really soft. It's a good soup. They think it though it needs a little bit of pepper. I like the chunkiness of the fish is in here though. We have just a feast right here. We got some of the Miami. Miami lobster. Local Miami lobster. Grilled. Grilled, because they have grilled, fried, or uh, something Black. else. Black. Black. So we got the grilled Miami lobster. It just smells so good. And we got fried shrimp. Fried jumbo shrimp. Yes. So what are these? Good. I don't know. I have to try them. I, the, someone had mentioned to get the yellow rice. So we got the yellow rice. And he told me what these were, but I couldn't really hear him as because of the music. So let's try these out. Mm. They taste like fried plantains. Oh, they I gave think me that's what you said. A dipping sauce with it. Mm, yummy. Here we go. We're going to dig into this grilled lobster. Wow. They really, really, really grill good. it. They really grill it right here. There you go, babe. Here we go. We managed to pull off a piece of the lobster. A little bit into the uh, drawn butter. Cheers, everybody. No 
junk is probably one of the most tender lobsters I've had. For some reason, it just, almost, I would say it melts in your mouth, but it's so easy to chew. Cooked perfectly, nice and moist. Of course, when you look at the outside, you're probably thinking, oh man, they, they burned the heck out of this thing. Not true. This thing is cooked perfectly. Wow. This is amazing. Look at Miami, babe. Wow. You're gonna like this, babe. Okay. You can see there's still lobster juice in here when they grilled it. Oh yeah. That looks really good. Lobster is still connected to the shell, so you can know they grilled it in the shell. It is hot, but we're just get off this piece here. There you go. Dip it into this butter. Nice clarified drawn butter. Here's the piece. Mm. Great grilling on that lobster. Extremely tender. Not chewy at all. It, you can very meaty. You can really see how much meat there is in this lobster. Mm. Even without the drawn butter. It's very honey tasting. It's very meaty tasting as well. They cook this perfectly. Oh, These Miami lobsters. Really good. These shrimps look crazy. Look how big they are. They're really fried. It looks like you can eat everything because it's so fried. Let's see. Yep, look how easy it comes across. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna dip it into this tartar right here. Let's try this one out. Hey, going tail first. Tail first, since it's, I like crunchy. Mmm. The shrimp is sweet. Sweet shrimp. This batter is really nice. And I love the tempura batter. I love having everything in the tempura batter. Nice and crunchy. The shrimp is not chewy at all. Nice and sweet. You see how succulent that is right there? The fried shrimp is legit. Again, this yellow rice was recommended. Look, it's in here. It's served spices in there. And it looks like maybe pieces of fish. Mm. Or a chicken. Or no, it's fish. This really tastes like a paella. A little wrap up of Garcia's. Great place. It's a good place, yeah. It's yeah. really good. Uh, the the um, lobster was very good. The fried shrimp was good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our recommendation, if you come yes. here to Garcia's, the lobster tail. Mm -hmm. A yellow rice. Mm -hmm. We were really here for the stone crab, but they're out of season right yeah, now. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, because I wanted to compare the prices and quality. Right, but right. And yeah, they're and they're known for their stone crab because they have their own boats that go out. So it's a pretty good place, huh, babe? Oh yeah, it is. And the uh, lobster was priced per pound. So the right. price you saw on the bottom corner mm -hmm. that was uh, price per pound. Right. And I don't know how much it was. How much was it per pound? Uh, 65 a pound? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so it was just under one pound. Yeah, it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was good. We're ready. Off to the next adventure. Our adventure brought us to South Beach. We have to come here, you know it. Yes, yeah. this was on our list. Mm -hmm. We had to do it. Yep, so behind us is the Cardozo Hotel. Now it's owned by Gloria and um, Emilio. 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 Esteban, which is really cool. And this is where they filmed The Birdcage, oh, Something yeah. About Mary. Another movie too. Uh, something in Marley and Me or something like that. Somebody's yeah. doing their research. You know, and I was reading up all about this place. It's a lot of cool art decor stuff. Yeah, it is. This is yeah. a pretty cool. Area. A lot of people here for uh, what Monday night? Monday night. Wow, babe. crazy! Yeah, it give, is. Me, give you a shot. The main street is here and you can see these buildings are beautiful. I like the 1950s style looking. So on this side is all of the walkway. On the other side is the beach. Right out, right on the other side of that greenery over there.
that is a ending to day one yes. of our Miami. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Very yes. warm. Oh yeah, did a lot and, of stuff today. And we're going to have another adventure tomorrow. Yes. Uh, still in Florida. Right, right. right. Well, any shout outs for this one? Oh, we do. We have Pauline, happy birthday. Aubrey's turning three, happy birthday. Richard, happy birthday. Uh, Sarah Lawson, Ethan, who is turning 12, happy birthday to both mm -hmm. of you guys. Uh, Francesca from Ontario. Carl and Vinci, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Uh, Miss Debbie, who is a preschool teacher, thank you so much for watching. And Sean and Kate, happy anniversary. All right, a lot of birthdays. A lot of birthdays, mate. All right, well, thanks everybody for watching our uh, our day here in Miami. And tomorrow, uh, check out for the next vlog. Yeah, another adventure. Another adventure. Until then, catch you on the next one.